All right, welcome back, everybody. New here at four. We are set to have an especially cold and rainy Halloween this year. We've been talking about it. Safety is top of mind, as always, for parents of trick or treaters. And here to remind us of what we can do to stay safe this Halloween is Chris McLean with American Medical Response. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you as you, well. You brought lots of props for us to really think about. So before we get started on those, because I want to see you in this. Sure. We'll go ahead. How about that? All right, let's talk about the importance of that. So, so I'll tell you why it's important. <laughs> if you think about it, um, uh, an unfortunate situation or a stat yeah. is that more children are struck by vehicles on Halloween than uh, any other day. Yeah. So a mask like this really limits the view. Yeah. It uh, covers the ears so they're not able to hear the vehicles mm -hmm. as well. So, so we really kind of encourage parents to stay away from masks just for that reason. Um, if that's you, true, and, and we laugh when you put that on, but seriously, that's a good reminder. It sure is, and other things is really being visible. Uh, mm -hmm. We recommend every, everyone to take their kids out early while there's still daylight. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it does go into dark fairly fairly quickly this mm -hmm. time of year, plus it's supposed to be rainy. so That complicates things. Uh, it sure does, so anything you can do to keep them more visible. This is just a, a very bright colored bag mm -hmm. that they could carry. And it keeps the candy dry. <clears throat> it sure does. <laughs> Uh, glow sticks, so that's a, a great thing, and all these are very inexpensive. Yeah, this is a little uh, glow stick too. It has a little bulb in it. Correct. Turn it on. And then a uh, something as simple as a small flashlight. Good old flashlight. So, uh, so we recommend you really stay with your kids. High visibility. Mm -hmm. Look for costumes that are appropriate because trips and falls also happen. Uh, if they're if their costumes too long yeah and, we don't want anybody to get hurt what, so what are the main calls you get so uh, unfortunately it is maybe where that that child run out in front of yeah. a vehicle and got struck so the, the, it's really about parents watching their kids and taking some of these ideals if you're a motorist and mm -hmm. you're you're going home after work obviously you reduce your speed slow down and, and yeah. look for those kids in your neighborhood just be on the lookout I, yeah I get home around 7 so I'm always looking Correct. be very very careful uh, okay what about when trick-or-treating is over what do we so need to think about? Uh, so other things is obviously candy mm -hmm. uh, child appropriate candy because their size and and um, different candies could choke smaller children. The colorful candies like Skittles. Oh, colorful candies yeah. too. And unfortunately, we have medications that kind of look like candy. Mm -hmm. So we always encourage parents to keep medicines up, mm -hmm. but especially this time of year because it could uh, look like look like candy. You still encourage parents, obviously, to go through that candy too. Uh, absolutely. Take a good look at it. And we encourage people to go trick or treat in the areas you're familiar with. Yeah. Uh, go through the candy if the wrappers ever open. Mm -hmm. uh, homemade candies, I would, I would really um, probably, probably stay away from those. Yeah. So uh, something from a manufactured company that's in a sealed package is probably best. Good deal. All right. Thank you so much. Thank we you so much. We appreciate it. You want to wear that mask again? Just one more Just quick for fun. time. <laughs> There's a steak dinner on this, I understand. I think you just got it. <laughs> Take care, Thank folks. Thank you. <laughs> Love it.